It's Friday before the Pizza Ranch Spring Sale, and there's a lot going on. They have the preview today, but you can go head over to DVAauction.com to watch the preview, because something you can't watch on the preview is a behind the scenes of a Pizza Ranch stud barn. I got to meet up with Sarah Brinkman today, daughter of Jim Brinkman, and she took us through the stud barn, so we got to say hi to all of our favorite studs so that everyone back home can see them as well. All right, I'm here with Sarah. Hi. We're in the stud barn, and Sarah's going to take us through and just say hi to a couple of the ranch studs that are here. Yeah. Well, welcome. We'll just walk. So um, here on this side, we have the ones that we're showing at the moment. So this is a son of Colt 45, who is Show Me a Song Joe's, that we're showing. So these, we just got all qualified for the world show. Um, we're going to bring them home and kind of breed them for the summer. A few of them that are getting AI'd may also continue to be shown. Um, so this is one, and he is a customer horse. And then this is one of the ranch studs. His name is Tucson Eddie, and he just got qualified. So we're actually going to kick him out to the hills with a group of about 30 mares this year. So he's going to be pasture bred. And down here we have Coyote 2 Show. So he is also a ranch uh, sire this year. We will be AIing him. Um, we're working on his championship. So he just got all of his grands in the halter. And then he's qualified in the roping as well. So he's going to uh, continue to be shown. And then we're going to AI him. So he is a nice little compact stout. Put some muscle on one. So these ones are the ones that are being yep, shown. Yeah, they're being shown right now. And then these are most all of our older studs. So these are going to be um, pasture studs as well as some AI studs. So we'll kind of walk down here. Um, it just snowed a little bit and we were teasing bears. So they're a little riled up at the moment. But this is Boone Sands. So he is kind of a cutting bread stud. Um, we've been kind of kicking him out with a lot of our maiden mares, kind of getting some foot speed on him some cow and he's an older horse um but a nice stud we've bred a lot of the maiden mares too this is um coyote oh duke coyote. uh duke coyote sorry <laughs> name slipped me uh duke coyote so he's a pasture stud so we'll also kick him out to pasture with about 30 mares um we've really been liking like some of the females out of him he puts a nice cute cute head on him kind of puts him up in their shoulders uh this is oh hell yes so He's a red buck, Colt 45 kind of red, but he's a nice pasture stud also. So we'll kick about 30 mares out with him. This is Benny stud, diamond Starbucks. So he would be um, out of Benny's diamond horse that he had that died a couple years ago. So that's his stud now. Um, so far, all of these have are all pasture. Yep. And then this is going to wimp them. Um, so he was... I think reserve world champ in the healing a few years ago, um, kind of Rainer bred. He's a nice pasture stud also. This is Gold Money Joe, and he will get pasture bred also. We showed him a few years ago. He's kind of one of dad's favorites, I would say. He really likes that stud. And this is uh, Sam McKendra's Duke stud. He, he will be turned out also. I guess Benny also owns part of him, so... He's uh, another one of our Duke stallions. This is uh, Mia Browbeater, so he would be our highbrow cat stud. He's pretty hot right now. Yeah, and his colts have averaged pretty well on the sale. A lot of people are really liking riding them. Um, puts a big old hip and butt on them. He, uh, he's going to be AI'd this year, so we'll keep him in and AI to him because we have quite a few mares to him. And then same thing here with Dukes and Divas. These are kind of our main AI sires. Um, so they'll both be kept in and Dukes and Divas, he, uh, another Duke stud and he, uh, goes back to the old cut and mare that I showed in the world when she was, when I was about 13. So sentimental value. This is, uh, he's a Colt 45 also that we, uh, every day is my day. So he's going to be pasture bred this year. And then here's favorable intentions. So he is one of the ranch sires that will be AIing. So we have quite a few to him as well. And he's just another Duke stud. Um, I don't know. He's, he's a pet. I he's did get super to see gentle. this guy at the Riata Buffalo yes. Roping. So he had some, um, some get out of him that did very well this year at the Riata. So they actually, I think he was maybe one of the top producing sires in the whole deal this year. So he, he had some very successful colts that people were showing out of him this year. So, 
yeah, I think a lot of people will be breeding for him again. So him and Dukes and Divas and Mac are definitely probably our biggest AI uh, horses. Okay. And then these are just kind of some training horses down here. So that's the main group of studs that we'll be breeding this year. Summer AI, several pasture. Um, the pasture studs we will kick out May 10th. So we're getting close to that. Yep. And then when do you guys start AI? Pretty much right now. Um, we will AI, like some of these we've already been AIing, especially like people that live in warmer climates, you know, they're bringing mares up already. Um, we don't start any of ours till after May 10th, just because we don't want to be fulling um, in bad weather up here. But uh, yeah, so as soon as, as soon as they want to have them, we'll, we'll start breeding them. So yeah, we're Thank getting, you. yeah, getting there. Thanks for taking us to the stud bar. <laughs> yeah, anytime. I hope you enjoyed our extra stud video. If you want to see more about Pitzer studs, follow them on Facebook or go check out pitzerranch.com or subscribe to this channel and follow along because I'll take you along all the behind the scenes. We'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.